I'm Matt Bichard with Nary, and I'm in London for the EPRA Annual Conference. Joining me is Andrew Parsons, Senior Portfolio Manager with Resolution Capital. Andrew, you have extensive experience in the Asia-Pacific region. What is the biggest issue in that region right now from a real estate investor standpoint? The biggest issue for, for uh, investors in our marketplace is, uh, is, is really corporate governance, uh, which I guess is a typical theme around the world, but I think it's understanding the needs of investors, uh, ultimate investors, uh, and uh, matching corporate governance uh, with those needs. Uh, that's probably the greatest level of, uh, for, want of better, uh, for want of a better term, uh, uh, inconsistency in the region relates to corporate governance. How would you say REITs in Asia and Australia stack up with their global peers right now? Well, setting aside corporate governance issues, uh, for those stocks that do uh, happen to, uh, we think, comply with satisfactory standards, we think the outlook's very strong. I mean, the balance sheets of the uh, Asian REITs, Australian REITs, uh, uh, and Asian real estate companies broadly are very strong, and they're obviously, obviously operating in an economy uh, which appears to be more robust uh, than Western counterparts. And looking at the global real estate investment market, how do you think that the broader adoption of REIT rules has impacted the landscape? Yeah, it's interesting with the US REIT uh, model being largely an internalized uh, management internal uh, structure, uh, Asia's developed down a slightly different path with an external management uh, model. So I think that's the, uh, the greatest challenge for, for, for the REIT industry in, in the region, understanding why the US went down a particular path uh, of internal management. Uh, and ensuring that uh, best practices followed in the Asian market. As a global real estate investor, are there any countries or regions where you're keenly focused on in terms of hoping that they enhance their listed property markets? Mm. Yeah, it's, look, we, we, it's not so much markets that we're interested in, we're really interested in great real estate and great management, and that's the critical issue. So uh, if we can get uh, REIT um, uh, legislation through in certain markets, we'd be very appreciative of the fact that uh, it is obviously more tax uh, efficient for our investors. Uh, I guess the markets that are obviously uh, of most interest, no doubt, you know, China is slowly emerging in terms of a REIT structure, etc. Uh, India will be interesting to, to watch. Uh, Brazil, obviously, is another market that we're, we're particularly uh, excited about. Andrew, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Great. For more on the global real estate investment landscape, be sure to visit REIT.com as well as EPRA.com.